I am Master Jambai. Welcome to this new replay commentary. I hope you guys will enjoy Storm vs Max. Let's go over to both CEO and both profile because this was one of my oldest uh, uh, global league game, I should say. Well, I say oldest, but in fact, this game was played in January. So let's read that. I hope you guys will enjoy. So this is my alternate account. Come by and eat bases. Official rating 814.62 for 146 wins, 164 defeat, 23 draw. And uh, yeah, uh, now let's go over to my opponent. As I am recording this, my opponent is 889.25 for 66 wins, 67 defeat. Just as most used character, very interesting. Now let's go over to both uh, seals. So, Stern, all movement cost over terrain is reduced to 1 except in snow. Unit lose 20% attack, in game 20% defense. So this day today is breaking the game. Break on our OP with Sturm. Sturm should be banned again. Uh, Meteor Strike 1. A 2 range missile deals 4 HP damage. The missile target an enemy unit located at the greatest accumulation of unit value. So have a mega tank and the missile will go there. Meteor Strike 2, the same thing, but instead of 4 damage, it's 8 damage. Uh, I suggest people to use the number 2, it's much better than 1, but I will not judge you if you use 1. Now, uh, Sturm is considered tier 1 in Fog by the website. I do believe he is tier 0, um, even if Javier and Vumble do well against Sturm, he is still a league of his own. Uh, I also think Auk can beat him in some cases, but Sturm overall is a better seal than all the counters that can beat him. So now let's go over to uh, Max. The website consider Max being tier 2. I consider him being tier 4. He is trash. Direct unit gain 20% attack, and direct unit lose 10% attack, and have minus 1 range. This is because of his day to day, he is trash. Uh, now, his power max force, direct unit gain plus 1 movement, and their attack increase to plus 30. Max blast, super, direct unit gain plus 2 movement, and their attack increase to 50. So, the way max should be played. Spam your power. This is a, a very strong power because for three stars, you have extra firepower and extra range. And Max don't care about tomorrow. He wants to crush his enemy. The longer the game will be, the less good Max is. And why? Well, Max is really good at tank spamming. Later on the game, you cannot really keep up with the tank spamming if the opponent has take up. You will need to take up as well, especially with Max, because he cannot rely on indirect. His bound counter may be good, but they are shut down by anti air, so the way to play Max win fast. Now, let's go over to the replay commentary. As usual, I will be really fast on the first two turns. Be fast, be fast. So we have similar opening, uh, but he goes for further cities, which is fine. Well, it's really hard to tell. I will be honest here. It's much better to have fast grabs because you got chain of buildings. Now, if he goes there, this means maybe he won that building fast, but. Here's the catch. When you got the chain, you get three buildings. And you got early economy faster. 
now his early economy will be hurt because he wants to go further in the map. In some cases it can be fine, but in this specific map, I really don't know. Now he rushed that building. Is it good or bad? Hmm. I think it's bad. And here's the why. This building there, in the corner, it's not really contested. The more contested building are these one, these one, this one, and the one on top. These are the four contested buildings. The first one there usually goes to the player here, the first one goes to the player there, usually. Now, I've never seen so far in this map a game where this player didn't add that building. I've never seen a game so far in this map where this player don't have this building. Now, if he goes for that building, it will be a decent way of attacking the game. I say decent because he will have one of the contested cities really fast. But here's the catch. His economy will be hurt. When I'm getting more buildings to get more funds, he's just running after building in the center. His economy will be hurt. So let's see how it goes. Here again, he rushed for that building. That building, it's... Sometimes it's contested, but usually this building belongs to this side. This building belongs to this side. So rushing this building, I'm not quite sure if it's good. Uh, I've seen a few games where I lost that building when I was uh, playing as this player. And I've seen a few games where my opponent lost that building while I was playing that side. Because this building is far from this side, even if usually you get it. It's still far, so it's really hard to hold that building. So let's keep going. Infantry, infantry, and I also got my first transport copter out because I want to uh, boost my infantry for the center faster. And I like the early transport copter in this specific map. In a lot of maps, it's a really good copter, but in this specific map, oh, oh, you see this infantry, I'm not quite sure if it's good or bad. He is sleeping on a lot of money by moving his infantry further. We will see how it goes. If he goes for that building, maybe, just maybe, it's good because he will get a contested building. But before getting that contested building, he did hurt his economy a lot. Recon, recon, okay. Double recon. I don't agree with this move. Recon are good mid-game. Recon are not that impressive early in the game. And here again, it's the 800 that speaks, but I played a lot, as you can see. So I am someone very experienced. I don't perform well, because I'm 800, but I know how game goes. And to Recon that early in the game, it's not really good. One tank can shut them down, boom, like that. So let's see how it goes. He, he goes for that building that is not contested. So this infantry was really a bad play. Um, if he chose to pick up these building, I think he would have gotten these three already. But because he skipped the building, he is still capping these building there. So his economy is barely hurt a lot. Tank, infantry, infantry. Usually I like early recon in this map, especially with Sturm, because I want to lock my open income tower. But at that point, I was like, oh, Alley transport copter, maybe I should go for tank. We will see how it goes. He goes for that building, 
and this is fine. And here's the why this is fine. This is one of the four buildings that are contested in this map. So, this is a fine play. I mean, you skip uh, funds to get it, but you will get it. Infantry, infantry, infantry. Very interesting. So, I kept buildings. And now, as you can see, my infantry are boosted. So, I already start capturing the front line there I will have the entire front line and he is not there yet that's the difference between the both of us I got a transport so my capture game is a bit faster than is and I don't skip building so it's also a bit faster anti-air infantry infantry now I realize it's late for my recall so I and go with my usual builds. Now this is fine because this is one of the contested cities. So I don't have much to say here. Now two recall at the same place. I'm not a fan of that. Usually when you have two recall you want one here and one there to have vision. If both of your recall cover this plane you're blind on the other side, so what's the point? Maybe you will see my tank coming, but... What if my tank is in this area and right now? By luck, my tank in the, is in this area. Well, because he has no break on there, he won't see that tank coming. If he had a break on here and a break on there, he would see the tank coming for sure. And to recall in this map, at some point in the game, it's pretty good because you can cover most of the map with only two recon. It's just very early for two recon, in my own opinion. Now I got two tanks, so this is fine. I have nothing to say here. Capture, capture, capture. Now I got the front line. Now take a look. I have a lead of 2k. And the reason, well, I didn't skip building. And now, even after he capped the building, I will still be ahead of him. And I am player one. Usually, player 2, when he plays his capture game properly, he should have one or two extra building at the start of his turn, because he get an extra infantry. But, as you can see it, the guy economy is really hurt by skipping buildings. And as I also said, my capture game is faster because of the transport, but this, this is not the only reason. So now I send that infantry there, I'm like, I didn't send any recon there, so I will try to deny him that gun tower with infantries, if I can. Tank, infantry, infantry. Now, this is his turn, he sees my infantry, so he will probably kill it because he has two recon, and these are max recon. And now I lost this, I'm like, okay, okay. Uh, he goes for the front line. I already got my front line, so my capture game is a bit better than is. Now he goes for that building. This is this is a bit weird in my own opinion. As I said many times, and this building is con is not really contested. So my infantry are around. He will surprise me for sure. I will never expect an infantry going there that fast. Even with a transport copter, usually you go there because it's contested. But this one decided to go elsewhere. Let's see if it's a good move or not. Anti air, infantry, infantry. Now he is saving money for some reason. I don't know why. We will see. Now I go for my comp tower, I send my troop there, I capture the contested city, and I try to capture this building. Now I find out infantry, I'm surprised, because it's not really a good move. So now I damage the infantry, create medium tank into infantry, because if you take up early against Max, it's always good. Because Max is really strong with tank spam. So if you take up early, you counter Max. 
because my school takes spam most of the time. I goes for that infantry instead of this one, and this is good because this one has extra defense by sitting on Alcom Tower. So dealing 7 HP damage to this infantry is really good because this infantry now is disabled. The only thing you can do is either join with something else or hide in forest. Now, the third option will be to heal it, but this is an infantry. Usually, it's rare you will see me healing infantries. Because infantry are. You can dispose of them. You just don't really care. You can have so many infantry that. It doesn't matter. Now, tank, recall, anti air. I don't agree with that. You already have to recall. You don't need the third one. Now you need more infantries to keep up with the capture game. Because you skip building to go further. So now your capture game is track right now. So come tower. Join. Now he has more money in me for sure. But this will change. I will kill stuff and I will surpass him again. So kill, kill, kill. Kill again. Anti-air, tank, infantry because I need to anti-air. And now you see I created an infantry wall to protect that anti-air. Because I know at that point I played against Degis and um, I'm like, okay, I will try my best to protect my anti-air. Now he kills one of my infantry and he tried to go for that building. Damage, kill, kill, damage. Battlecopter, tank, infantry, infantry. Now, I don't agree with that. And here is my reason. He knows I have an anti air. Now, maybe he expects to kill it with his tanks. But if he kills it, that means I did not hide that anti air. And that means I played badly. Now, I do think I will hide that anti-air if I am smart. If I am retard, I will just attack something. Oh, yeah. I did something good. Let's clap hands because I did something good. You see, Digis? You are smart. You made me improve. And you made me better at this game. So, now, let's keep going. Now, I know he has a tank there, so I think I will leave that tank over here to jump that tank. Now, I go for that CD in the bottom because I'm like, oh, there's nothing around, so let's try it. But uh, he did something else. Sending a third recon in this area. This is not good. You are blind here. And you already see everything there. So the way this guy is using his recon is to attack infantry. This is not the recon purpose. Use other infantry or tanks to deal with your opponent infantry. Don't use recon. Now, of course, if you can damage an infantry or if you can kill an infantry, do it. Like, don't ask questions. Recon can do that. This is one of the options the recon has. But the main goal of a recon is... Reconnaissance. It's intel gathering. It's not killing infantry. Killing infantry is a bonus for the recon. So with that being said, let's keep going. So now I created infantry, infantry, rocket launcher because I know I did take up and rocket with Sturm. In this map, they are really good because this map is small and rockets in smaller maps can be really good with Sturm. Now, with other seals, I'm not quite sure because the movement of the rocket is really bad. It's really trash, but Sturm don't care. So this rocket will be really good. The thing what hurt the most, the rocket launchers are its movement. It slowed down so much. Now uh, he kills my infantry. Damage my other infantry. 
So now you see that anti air is exposed. Now he has another anti air there. But like D just says, anti air are not to kill stuff, they are there to zone out air units. So this is the bad use of an anti air. Now, my turn, I damage that anti air. I damage the infantry. I go for the building there. Now, I did something stupid, but I was like, I think I was stressed out about my comp tower. I was like, I don't want to lose my comp tower, so I need to kill infantry around. Otherwise, I will lose my comp tower. And now, I did something else really bad. Two anti air are just sitting ducks. I think I really played badly. That anti air should have remained there. That anti air should have stayed there. But I can do mistakes. Even when I know it's bad, I can do mistakes. Uh, so now, now that thing is disabled, but he will be able to shut down my anti air if he wants. Kill the infantry, damage the infantry, damage the infantry. Go for the come tower. Now, I don't expect to get it. I just want him to use his units and resources to enter up that gap. He will need probably more than one unit. Now, if he only use one, maybe I will be able to join gap with something else. Or maybe I will just lose the unit and will have to use stuff to shut it down. Now, we will see how it goes. Kill the anti air. Moves rocket there and make it tank to infantry. Now at that point we are even, but I have better volume. He has better income, so skipping base early in the game did help him to have a small edge. But can he maintain this? I don't know. Because I was able to take off faster than him. And now I just realized War Crime, buddy. Why? Why? Fighter. Why? 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 This is bad. Do you see a lot of air unit? No! You have Recon to tell you when I have air unit. So why did you buy that fighter? You don't even know if I will build any air unit this game. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. We will see, but... Oh my, that guy. That guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. That guy. So, he damaged my infantry again, kills my infantry, kills my infantry, kills my infantry, uh, leave a trap there, this is a good use of a 1 HP infantry, kill my infantry, move that stupid fighter, now he gets a medium tank and 2 infantry, which is good, now here, I don't know to be honest, he has the edge over there, but Maybe it's overextending too much. Because they should expect me having unit in this area. I mean... Now, value wise, uh, I have a bit less, but he has a much better unit count. And this is normal. Early in the game, max would be really good. But if the game keep going, my day to day will stack. And maybe I will overthrow him. Maybe I will beat him. Now I use my anti air to clear that infantry and that was really dumb. But hey, uh, I think I was a bit brainless in this game. I was like, I'm against Max, so let's be stupid. Anti air tank infantry because I realized I was stupid that anti air will probably die. Now as you can see I have better value but he has better count. Damage my infantry. Damage my tank, damage my anti air, kill my anti air, damage my tank, kill my tank, kill my infantry. Now, at that point, he took the lead in the game, he took the advantage. Now, I damaged that recall because. Storm is a bit weaker than usual. And now I shut down his Battlecopter and get trapped. But now I caught up with him in terms of income. So we will see if I can, like, 
beat him. Now, I, I brought my first Battlecopter out without knowing he had a fighter in the center. I also created APC and 2 infantry because that transport is running low. And at that point, I'm like, I need to capture stuff. Because if I don't ferry my units in both corner, I will lose. I use Max Blast. I guess this is fine. Look. Which unit Max Blast with will benefit? Thank Recon. And that's it. That Raycon is too HP. It's a bad Raycon. That Raycon is too far away from anything. Now, okay, maybe with the Super, now I can reach this. So, this is just a bit better than what I thought first, but when I look back, this is a really bad Super. And here's the why. Max Blast is for a good push. It's not just to bite units, because this is what it will be doing. Kills my tank, fine. I have a medium tank there. If I get a vision to see it, I will kill your tank. These tanks won't do anything. Maybe kill my anti air, but. It's not impressive. If he waited a bit more to use the super with two medium tanks like that, he could have pushed toward my lines and destroyed a lot of things. And it could have been better than what he used. Do you ask to die? I think that Raycon asked to die. He's like, yo, I want to die. Well, he kills my anti air. That's, that's fine. I mean, okay. Damage my infantry twice. Kill my infantry. Kill my infantry. So now he's taking over that area and that area. So right now he has the edge. But look at that metal. I will smash something. Medium tank, infantry, infantry. Now, this is my turn. I kill the infantry, damage the other infantry, kill this unit. Now, I send these infantry over there because I want to capture buildings. Now, at that point, we are pretty even, but he has a much better unit count. But as I said, early in the game, it's normal. He will have a better unit count. He is max. He is made to have early game advantage. Now, medium tank, artillery, infantry. Because I need some punch. Now, it, as you can see, we are similar in unit count. Now, he goes for the building on top. That's fine, I guess. He will still a bit... Money for me, which is good. But now, because that thing survived, that rocket will be able to shut down that medium tank. Medium tank, infantry, infantry. Now, that infantry is dumb. That infantry want to die. That's overextending. Yes, you get intel, but you lose your unit. This is not good intel gathering. And just take a look to the map. Where are the recons? There's one there. But there are no other recons. Keep in mind, he bought three of them. So he lost two of them. Usually when you lose that fast your recon, you don't know how to use your recon properly now meteor strike uh, so fighter useless medium tank damage maybe that's why he got the fighter he wanted the meteor strike on it I don't know damage kill kill Now that area, I am the one in control now, so I will slowly get these three buildings. Take a look, Rocket Pal. Now I send that infantry as some kind of recon in this area. 
Battlecopter, Infantry, Infantry, Anti-Air. Very good build. Now that Anti-Air, uh, that tank, I should say, it stood here because I wanted him to keep at least one of his units there so that Rocket can shut down any of these units. Because if I remove the tank, then he would chase after it until he finds it. Now he goes for the building. Now take a look at the value. His value is very low. Because that fighter in that medium tank really suffered a lot of damage. Now that rocket... Boom. You see, this is what happens when you send all of your recon in one area. You have moved to what I have there. If he sent one of the three recall in this area, he would have found my rocket much earlier than that. But now he found it and it's a bit too late. It's already paying itself back. I kill this. Because I want to hurt his economy. I kill this. I kill that. So now, you see, this area is mine. I will get these two buildings. Now, you get the recall and two in here, and this is fine. But it's not impressive. And here is the why. You are slowly losing both sides. You will need infantry to come back in the race. Now, let's take a look. 9 infantry against 10. We are similar in count. But the big difference... I have two infantry on the front line ready to get building. Now, he has two there, but I still have military presence here, so it's not a guarantee he will cap with these two. So let's see how it goes. Infantry, medium tank, infantry. So now, as you can see, I got more infantry than him. I also got twice, or almost two times, his volume. And my unit count is also better than is because this is the way it is. Now, that's fine, I guess, but yeah. We will see how it goes because I think he's doing good despite doing a lot of mistakes and playing something stupidly and some moves are really bad. I think he's still playing okay. So now I damage the anti air because I know battle capture won't be contested by anything. That medium tank will be repaired. So for the time being, it's out of the battlefield, and this is what I like, this is what I want. Now I damage that infantry, so now I get two of his buildings. So now these numbers will be reversed. He will be at 19 and I will be at 20. Well, we'll have to lead by 1k. So, the longer the game is, the worse Max becomes. And now I got to end here because reason. Uh, when I look back, I think I should have gotten another tank instead. Yeah, too many end here. Attack my tank. Attack my infantry, kill my infantry, attack my infantry, kill my infantry. So now, by going there, I overextended a bit. But at that point, I knew I won. Because I had that area under my control. And that area, well, I had an idea of what he had. But I knew I had more value than him. Now, damage my unit, which is very interesting. Three anti... what? Three infantry? Now, I understand it's important to capture building, especially when you're about to lose two buildings, but you still need firepower. So I think, in, th in this case, I would have gotten a medium tank and two infantry. Now, maybe you plan on getting a bomber? We will see. So now I go for the comp tower. Kill this, damage the anti air. Now I shield here. And you see, I won this area. 
there's nothing he can do. And now I slowly win because you see here it's chill. He cannot do anything to stop that cap. Now, maybe he can get his super and that Raycon will be able to hit me. But I am Sturm only come tower. So I will do well. Damage. Damage. Medium tank infantry infantry. He shut down my Balcopter, he used his Max Blast. Now this is a good Max Blast because two medium tank deal a lot of damage. So this Max Blast was really strong. Now that, that's being a bit greedy, attacking my damaged anti-air. Now you see, this, this was a good Max Blast. Um, now he gave me Power Charge and that rocket already paid itself back, so I don't really mind that medium tank, uh, that tank smashing it. And interesting, oh. Bomber and tree base skip, this is trash. You cannot base skip like that, it's wrong. Now, let's keep going, but I think I remember the outcome of this battle, I think I won this one. Because he is base skipping too much, and I am winning this side, and now I got his tower, so this means I have normal firepower. So now I join two medium tank and I retreat in the woods. Attack the infantry, attack the medium tank, attack the tank, attack the infantry, attack the end here, attack the medium tank. So now I push him back and I kill a lot of things here. Medium tank, tank, tank. And now I'm poor, that's why I bought this. Uh, that rocket being damaged really drained my money. That don't work, man. It's, it's not a good purchase. Uh, in this specific case, he base skip to do, to get it. It's really bad. Like damage my infantry and he suicide something else. I get another of his building and he cannot do about anything about it. So I will have a better economy than him. Now his juice is gone. Max, the longer the game will be, the worse he becomes. Well, now I know it. I go for one of his building because I know he will spend money to enter up my caps. If he don't, he will lose more money. Meteor Strike again, and now you see this Meteor Strike was really, really good. I disabled two medium tanks. This is why Max is bad. He cannot maintain his momentum. And this is fine, because if he could be good the entire game, then he would be more than tier 2 and tier 4 in my own opinion. But yeah, let's kill stuff. Boom. Rocket again, and two infantry because I got the money. Now he kills my infantry. I don't really care. Damage my infantry, damage my infantry, damage my infantry. So now the infantry is still alive. This means I can join Cap and force him to use more unit to interrupt the Cap. That medium tank run away. Bomber goes in the center, but I got an anti air there. And yeah, I have it's here each side. Now the only way for him to really hurt me is, is if, if he find my end here before I shoot his bomber then it's good for him. If I find his bomber before uh, the end here is found well I, I will cr crush him. I mean. Now I join cap, kill this, kill that, kill this, kill that now that anti-air is healing, well, even if this one is being damaged, I have a second one in backup, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they overlap each other. So this means, if he uses bomber, boom boom boom, I will counter attack with an anti-air. And now I got normal firepower, and my defense is increased, so this means that bomber will deal less damage 
this into that. Empty air, uh, tank, tank, infantry, because I need vision. Now, that, that bomber did okay. It was the 8 HP medium tank. So it's not fully 16k, it's probably 14 or 50 uh, k if it's at 8 HP. So that number worked 22. So with this anti air crashing it, it won't pay itself back. Except if he goes back to ill, but even there, if he goes back to ill, then that bomber will cost more than 22k. So both cases. I did a lot of damage to that. Tank, infantry, infantry. Now I join cap again. Place myself there. I kill this. Damage. Kill. Kill. Almost killed. So now I want both sides. And look at my... Uh, army value and at my income so at that point I won the game it's just a matter of when my oh my own name resigned here so you see 13 against 29 I got twice his value so I think what went wrong is the fact that first of all he picked a lower tier seal and that's max Max is a bad seal in my own opinion. Storm roll on Max. And I think the other thing that truly really hurt him is the fighter and the base skipping. Imagine all these times. If he was not base skipping, I think his unit count by the time we ended the game would be around 20. Maybe a bit more. I'm not quite sure. 20. Because he base skipped two times. Three bases. And one time one base, I believe. But I'm not quite sure. Anyway, doing war crime is really bad. You cannot win by doing it. Sometimes you, you do because you, you get lucky. You surprise their opponent. But most of the time, you do war crime like base skipping. Unit count will drop. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. We will see each other in future video. Have a great day.